What up, YouTube? My YouTubers. Shout out to all my subs. Everybody that leaves a comment joins the conversation. So I waited to record this video um, because, as always, I don't want to be one of these people that jumps, you know, on the rat on the wagon when things just happen and such things that just happened that I'm about to get into. Um, because obviously on this channel, this channel was never started for, you know, just views or fame or, or, you know, cause attention. And, and these, this channel was started with good intentions to spread a message, um, to possibly teach, to exchange information. Um, so with that being said, we're talking about Pat Stay, Patrick Stay. Uh, once again, I, I waited until, you know, give some time to the family members, to the friends to go through the initial stages of grief. And when this whole thing happened with Pat Stay, I also lost someone close. So first and foremost, uh, my condolences to the family, to his wife, to his kids, to everyone that was close to him. This video is called Pat Stay is Not Dead. We have a segment, a series on this channel where we do, it's called Not Dead, where I shout out to the people, I shout out the people that I may have known in real life and I may have not known in real life, but that have inspired me in one way or another. So we're talking about, excuse the train, Pat Stay. First time I heard Pat Stay must have been like 2012. And I was blown away right away, man. Here was this uh, this white kid from Canada, from Nova Scotia, Canada. You know, and every time we think of Canada, we think, you know, this place up north somewhere that's super quiet with super nice people that don't have much going on and I I really wasn't into Canadian hip hop that much. All we knew was Drake was from Canada. I'm talking from a American perspective. So when I first saw Pat Stay again, here was this white kid from Canada, but the way he was is that he made you look past or not see his skin color or where he comes from me so here was this super cool you know gigantic dude like you can tell you can tell even from his battles that he carried a certain energy a certain aura that made people gravitate towards him and me as a viewer as a fan it made me also gravitate, you know, I would always say that he's on my list of favorite battle rappers. So ever since 2012, I followed his career. I seen him, you know, develop and grow from, you know, big hoop earrings to having no earrings, you know, to from battling a drug addiction to you know, overcoming the drug addiction, to getting married, to having children, you know, us as fans, we get engaged with the people that we sometimes consider, you know, superheroes in a way, in one way or another. And I have so much respect for battle rap. As I said, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm a rapper myself, but battle rap, I think is like the purest form of hip hop. And I always said this, if we could only solve wars this way globally, imagine 
you know, one country gets their best battle rapper and another country gets their best battle rapper and they go head to head, you know, and we would solve our issues like that if we could only live in a world like that. So Pat Stay, Pat Stay is definitely not only on my list of, of top favorite rap rappers, battle rappers, but I think he's on the list of the greatest battle rappers of all time. I think the impact that he had on the whole subculture, if you will, is, you know, it's beyond words. Um, it's, it's definitely great impact. One thing that I'm kind of, kind of saddened about is that, you know, such people like Eminem after, I don't want to call it death. I don't use the word death after Pat stay you know, spirit left the body, Eminem recorded a video, you know, Pat stayed the greatest, this and that, you know what I'm saying, like giving a shout out, and it's cool and it's dope, but my only issue is, why didn't Eminem during the life course of Pat stay, you know, kind of pull him up and, you know, put a, put an arm around his shoulder and said, said, you know, let's go do, do great things, man, let's go push what you're pushing let's go push the culture but you know that's another topic man so pat stay pat stay is not dead not only will he live on he lives on forever with the work that he has done with the impact that he has had with every word he rhymed with every battle that he battled, he will live on forever. If you, if some of you are not aware, go on his channel. You know, he had like podcast style videos and actual podcasts, you know, and it's, they're, they're a lot of fun, man. They're, you know, they're really cool if you're into hip hop. There's a lot of history that goes into it. You know, during the pandemic lockdowns, he interviewed a lot of people you know like mc jen and all of that like real dope videos so i just wanted to say to the family members to the fans to everyone that knew him pat stay is not dead leave a comment let me know what you think i just i want i really you know i wanted to do this video to give a shout out to uh to pat stay his family everyone that he touched he definitely touched me in one way or another um so to all the subs thank you so much for tuning in you know thank you for being part of the movement because this is a movement where you know we're gonna do we're gonna, gonna get into bigger and greater things a lot of things are coming you know my series on uh ukraine truth from a ukrainian is still a lot you know music is coming like podcasts are coming a lot of stuff is coming so thank you from the bottom of my heart for leaving a comment, joining a conversation. It means the world to me. You know, one, once again, to all the Pat Stay fans out there, my condolences, you know. And uh, I don't want to say we lost a great one because, you know, to me, he's always around. So once again, Pat Stay is not dead. Go check out the greatest poet of all time as always, Ramashka. Uno.